Hey guys, I hope you had a really great day trading today. So today's trading was just as chaotic as I implied in last night's video. It just had so much going through it. And the opening move today was down and we opened at the very bottom of the implied move. And then from there, we came back up, filled the gap, and then from there, we came up to the next gap that was at the on the green side of the trading range. And so here, we actually filled this gap halfway. Then we came up to fill this gap halfway. And this was the hawkish Fed gap from FOMC in September and from the last time that Chair Powell spoke. And that's been a pretty steady resistance. Today we did get into that gap a little bit, but got pushed back out. And we came down to the one hour 200 moving average. And then you can also see the intraday five minute 200 was there. And with those two levels together, kind of propped it back up. And we did close completely flat, 0.00% absolutely neutral. VIX at close came up 4% and with the exception of just a little bit at open right here, we did trade completely within the implied move. Hopefully you guys had as much fun as I did with this trading range. It's always good to know where the levels are so you can react quickly. With that being said, make sure you are subscribed and you turn on notifications so you get these trading ranges before the actual trading session. I see some people watching these a few days later and that doesn't make any sense. So turn on notifications and let's go check out tomorrow's levels. So tomorrow's implied move is between 432 and 439, and that is from options. And the 30-day average volatility takes it a little bit wider, 431 to 441. And tomorrow's trading range looks very similar to yesterday's trading range because we were completely flat. So we didn't really go anywhere, but we did fill in both of the gaps on each side, about 50%. So those are a little bit smaller. And of course the moving averages are shifted just a little bit, but for the most part, we have the same range tomorrow. So to the upside, we do have the remaining 25% of that hawkish Fed gap. And that goes back to the day after Powell spoke and basically implied higher rates for longer, the next morning, the market gapped down and we've been, for the past a little bit more than a week, we've been chipping into this gap. Um, last Tuesday, we got into it about halfway and then that level was resistance for the rest of the week. So far this week, today, we got into that gap another 50% uh, of what was left. So we have about 25% of that gap left and it's been a pretty strong level. You see, anytime we came close to it, drop, got back up to it, drop, and um, today we got into it a little bit and then pushed back out. So definitely the first level to look for. And just above that, we do have the 50 day moving average. And those two levels might be a fierce resistance. Above that, still within the implied move, we have the four hour 200 moving average, kind of capping off the trading range. And above that, if we do push through that, there's really no resistance until about 446. So I would expect if we don't get slapped back down here, that if we do push up, then 446. Um, and then to the downside, we do have the one hour 200 moving average. I'm not gonna really call that a support yet because uh, yesterday, Monday, it was very sloppy. We definitely dropped below it. Um, then gap down the next morning and even today the catch was really sloppy so is it a support yet not really but it is a level to look for those 200 moving averages tend to be really something within the trading range so definitely a level to look for underneath that we have the rest of the Monday gap up that we filled halfway today and then the 
head and shoulders neckline, the head and shoulders from June. You can see it right here, and that neckline is in that gap on the bottom of the trading range tomorrow. So that is to the downside, and actually the next level underneath that is the 30-minute 200 moving average, which so far, past two weeks, we've been able to stay above that level, and it is also starting to curl upwards, so that could definitely act as a support level there. So that is tomorrow's trading range. Just like yesterday, I'm gonna say that it looks chaotic and wild, and I know I'm gonna have fun with it, but make sure you know where your levels are, make sure you have fun and trade safe and take profits when you're up, and I will see you guys tomorrow night.